Hello everyone, it's Wayne again and I'm just going to show you today how to insert your digital signature into a Word document. So I'll just go to my home screen and I'll open up Office and I'll open up this document at the top. Okay, so that's the preview. If I want to edit the document I have to tap on the pen at the top. All right. Now um, I'm just as with inserting photos, what you have to do is place your cursor where you want the photo. So that's just what I've done. I just added a new line at the bottom of my document, and now I'm going to um, use the formatting toolbar, this toolbar down the bottom to insert my signature which is a picture so I'll just swipe over until I get that button there which is the insert pictures or add pictures button so I'll just tap that one so that gets me into my gallery so you would have saved your signature from one of the past sessions onto your mobile phone in this case here it is so I'm just going to select that one and down the bottom it says done in that orange um, orange button down the bottom so just tap on done and the picture is inserted into the document now around the, the edges or the border you've got those little circles on the corners and on on the flat edges uh, they're your resizing markers for the picture. So I'm just going to grab the bottom right resizing marker and I'm just going to drag it up to make it a bit smaller. So I'll just undo that if you make a mistake. So up the top in the blue area you've got the undo button and I'm just going to try again if you go too far you flip the photo okay so I've made it a bit um, made it a bit smaller there okay so that's how you do it that's how you insert a picture or insert your signature um, once I've updated my document, so I've made a change to my document and now I'm going to confirm the changes. It's like, I guess, saving your document. So in the blue area up the top left, you've got the tick button. So you just tap on that. It goes back to the preview. And to get back to your documents list at the start, you just tap on that back button there. Okay, so it's updated in my list of documents. Thank you for listening.